Hey G-Squad, welcome back to my solo. Is it worth it? So today's episode, we got this cool underwear here, and basically what this is is a Bet Jet Three. So if you guys seen my previous video, I actually did like a whole unboxing and setup process for this whole product. So I won't cover that in this video. For this video, I wanted to do like an update video to show you guys how well the product works and explain to you guys how well it's been working after like a week or so of using the product. So after using the product for one week, I do have to say that it actually works really well to give me like that cooling effect or like the heating effect as well. For me, I haven't used the heat option that often yet because it's been really hot lately since it is summertime right now. But if you guys are living somewhere where it's actually really cold or if by the time you guys are watching this video, it is like winter season, then you guys can definitely use like the heating option. But around the time that I'm making this video for you guys, it is summertime. So that is why I got this product to give me like that cooling effect. So before I talk more about the product, let me show you guys how it works. So literally all you need to do is just have like a blanket or like a mattress all set up first. And you guys want to set this part right here onto the bottom of your mattress or whatever to give you guys that support to hold it in place. So that way it won't fall off. But once you guys set all this up, either on the side right here, like how I have it, or if you guys want to put it in bottom, or if you guys want to put it underneath your bed, however you guys want to set it up, that is totally up to you guys. But you basically want to put this over it and just set up your whole like mattress or even for your uh, comforter or blanket. And then once you guys do that, you guys can basically turn it on three different ways. One is to manually open it on the bottom of the actual device. Two is to use the remote right here. And three is to use your app. So for me, I've been mainly using it on my app. So I'm actually showing you guys what the app looks like first. So here is basically what the app looks like when you guys do connect it. So everything on here is basically the same that's in control on the remote control, which is basically right here. So you do have like the off option, turbo heat option, cooling option, heat option, temperature setting, time setting, fan setting, dry, memory one, memory two, memory three, and the list goes on. And I do want to mention for the one that I got right here is a bed jet screen. And for the one that I got right here, it is designed for like twin size bed or like single side. So if you guys have a queen size or full size bed, it will only give you guys a coverage for one side. But if you guys do want to cover it for both sides, you probably won't get two of these, one for each side. But let's turn it on to show you guys what the product looks like and how it works first. So I basically want to turn on the cooling option and I want to turn the fan on max. And we'll turn on the temperature and the lowest. So once we turn it on, and we see how well the product works. And we see how good of a coverage it gives you. It literally blows all the way in. And obviously when you guys do hop in, when you put your body inside here, it actually lifts up even more. So that way you get even better coverage when you guys do use it. And the cool thing about the product is the fact that I show you guys the fan speed level on here and also show you guys the temperature setting on here. So right now the temperature that's inside is 72 degrees and they also show you guys right here on remote control as well. But you see how strong the actual fan is on here? It even blows my comforter off the bed and that is because I do have a lightweight comforter. But you see when you guys do use it, it actually works pretty well. And it's totally safe for you to use it even when you guys are sleeping as well. Let me actually hop on to show you guys what it looks like. Alright, so once you guys hop on, here is basically what it looks like. And literally once I hop on, I can definitely feel like that cooling effect throughout the whole entire blanket or comforter. But if you guys notice when we're using it, it is pretty loud with the fan option that's turned on. So if it's too loud for you guys, you do have the option to turn it down. So let's bring it down to show you guys how it works. So right now we have it 50%. And even right now when we have it 50%, I still feel like that cooling effect. And that is because we do have it on 66 degrees. If 50% is still too loud for you guys, you guys can turn it even lower. Usually for me, when I actually go to sleep, I do turn it on to like 20 or 30. And if the product ever gets like too cold, you do have the option to increase the temperature on here to a higher temperature. But basically like the lower temperature on here is 66 degrees. If you guys turn it back up, let me show you guys what it looks like again. Right. So now we have it back at 100. You can see how strong the product is when you guys do use it. It's so strong to the point that I can actually feel the cold air being blown on my face on the side right here. So that is basically everything for this quick little update video to show you guys how it works. So after using the product for a week, I definitely have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want one of these. Especially like I mentioned, if you guys do sweat a lot or if you guys have any issues like if it's too hot or too cold, you guys can turn on the cooling system or the heating system on here to give you guys that cooling effect or the heating option. I do want to mention for this system, it is a game changer or life changing option. Because in this room, when I do sleep in here, it does get pretty hot. And sometimes I don't want to turn the AC option. So having this option is actually really convenient. So if you guys experience the same kind of issue as me, where it actually gets too hot or too cold, then I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't want or haven't one of these, 
the obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else you actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.